and welcome to my Nimbus Waypoint, a custom Forge Master Falls build. Um, so, of course, originally this was an orcish settlement, um, and it's actually, interestingly enough, off of the coast of Rivenspire and not really Rothgar, if you're paying attention. So, I liked the idea that this was originally a little orcish settlement and it got abandoned and it's been taken over by um, those, uh, by an innkeeper who caters to those that maybe shouldn't be sailing in these waters <laughs> and um, might not be the most welcome in nearby ports. So... I've left this forge and this little home down here empty and available because as sailing crews come in, they can um, make repairs or um, staff their crew there in the little warm, cozy home. And then the uh, officers, captains, etc., um, can make use of the inn. So we will head up and see it. Um, I was planning this build for quite some time. Um, actually, about since I tore down the previous build. And uh, wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do next here. Um, I actually originally had some thoughts to build a fun home sort of tucked onto the cliffside up here. I will show you. Um, but I discovered that this vantage that I wanted to build at, um, the build limits wouldn't let you go up that high. So, yeah, I wanted to build up there on that cliffside by the waterfall. As I thought that would be fun. And I wanted to try to get views up above, like of that area up there, and especially the sort of statue carved into the rock up there. Really wanted to take advantage of all of that, get good views of it, do a whole thing. Yeah, the build limits. So instead, we built our own cliff to have our inn upon. And uh, when I added the Nimbus clouds, um, I decided this was the Nimbus Waypoint and Inn. Um, and I have kept the partial dwarven slash um, clockwork. Sorry, I'm like Cold Harbor. No, that's the wrong word. Cold Harbor? Nope, still the wrong word! <laughs> A clockwork theme that I had in my previous build. Um, I'm not sure why, but I just feel like the people living here um, would take advantage of that. So there's quite a bit of dwarven and clockwork stuff in my build here. And I really hope you enjoy it. So this is a little um, living room waiting area. We have a nice little cozy seating area here by the fire. But we also have one over here with our beautiful glowy tree. But this one here is set up to take advantage of these windows and look out at this beautiful waterfall. So that was very deliberately set. Another little view here of this tree. These things are so pretty. I just had to make it like a focal point of this build. So this is the bathroom for the inn. We've got our sink here for washing our hands. 
a couple of toilets. You can decide which is the woman's and which is the man's. <laughs> Don't think it really matters. And of course, the very fancy shower and bath. The private rooms have their own bathtubs, but it wouldn't be one of my builds if I didn't have some ridiculous bath setup. So, ridiculous bath setup as ordered. <laughs> Another seating area, and of course, all these seating areas can double as extra beds if. Uh, there's more than one ship here, and they have a crew that needs housing. Particularly like this one, and the beautiful views out the windows at the sea. Somebody has a little side business of wedding and birthday cakes displayed here for sale. Um, the slices are to tempt um, those staying here. Um, don't you want to buy a cake from this wonderful baker? I would want to. They all look delicious, don't they? The kitchen. Meals are not cooked and provided here. However, the kitchen is free for the crew um, to use and those staying here. Bring your own meat. <laughs> Dining area here. That it has. As I get stuck on a chair. Nope, nope. Let's go around this way. I have made an impossible maze there for myself. It has a beautiful view of this waterfall, and I just realized I have messed up. I moved stuff around quite a bit. There we go. There, beautiful view of this waterfall. A little bit of the sea. So you can have your your breakfast or your dinner. So that's the first floor. The available bedrooms are on the second floor. The skylight. Additional seating and sleeping areas here, as well as another beautiful place to enjoy the sea views. Very scenic. The available bedrooms. Enjoy your desk where your captain can be writing their logs and enjoying that view. And of course, more of that waterfall view here, as well as just more beautiful ocean. This place has such great views and the original housing here just did not take advantage of it. So I have. Because of course I have. I love how the skylight turned out. <laughs> oh, 
this room might appeal to some of our other <laughs> clients. Again, private bath and a beautiful place to take in the surrounding views. And of course, last but not least, our most expensive room. For our most discerning clientele. With this beautiful view. and its own private balcony here. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour of my silly little build. Um, this was definitely a labor of love. Um, windows are... The windows that you can see through are the bane of my existence, if we're honest. I feel like they really should have them. And of course, they've given us a few window options that we can use, but trying to sort walls around windows makes it very difficult to use the same walls all the way around and it just gets to be a challenge um, some people can manage to do it quite seamlessly and I I admit I struggle but for this it is worth it after all we should be able to sit here in the bath and enjoy that view, right? Would be perfect. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.